social question. Uh, the question of the class is probably uh, in these uh, post-socialist countries, and I will focus uh, on a Yugoslav context from the uh, late 80s to the Croatian context uh, now. It's, pro it's, it's, pro it's, post it's probably impossible to distangle from the question of nationalism, especially in the areas which were hit with bloody war, like, uh, like Bosnia, Croatia, uh, Kosovo, Macedonia, uh, Mas and Macedonia, Albania, okay, and, and this, uh, these, uh, these countries. Uh, war, war, without a doubt, <coughs> destroyed uh, political, political ties, economic life, and uh, existen existen existential relations in a in that, that countries and also form a new class compositions. But to bypass the, these complex national questions and to avoid its connections to class issues often leads in post socialist countries to expect a clean working class subject to enter the political scene or to imagine the united European working class communities without acknowledging. National, national divisions stemming from different economic situations. The hesitancy to engage in the field of nationalist issues leave this space open for the far right to exploit it and to monopolize the language of the left. It also manages to channel the people's social discontent into cultural conflicts, as we have certainly seen around previous months. But to better understand this, uh, this uh, 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 better understand this connection between class and national question and broader class recomposition in post-socialist societies, more precisely in Yugoslav context, I will I would start I will start from a stratification structure of Yugoslav society in the 80s and its dissolution. Although the law of value in Yugoslavia did its socially disintegrating magic, it is hard to speak about the classes as social groups that lead class struggle for protection and develop and improvement of their interest of their interest in Yugoslav society. Certain class characteristics do exist, but we cannot talk about social classes that determine the social change for class, for class struggle, at least not until the 80s. And there were some Serious class confrontations, uh, and there were some serious confrontations along the class lines. I will, I will, uh, I will start from this uh, graph. It uh, it uh, shows the stratification structure of Yugoslav society, Yugoslav, uh, Yugoslav society in the 1981. It is uh, it is uh, derived from the uh, population survey in in 1981. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot reproduce this graph for the 1991, 2001, 2011 because the lack of data. But uh, for this uh, for this talk, uh, I, 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 I will think it will do. Uh, it will it will be a <coughs> it will be a beginning to to uh, to reflect these these questions. The, the, the this. These different stratifications, uh, these different strata that we see on the graph, are differentiated uh, to the, uh, according to different po different positions in social in social division of labor. That is, in different so different uh, different social functions in given social systems, which are the product of industrialization process. That is, or to put it in a Marxist terms, development of the forces of production. Assuming this. Positions is a historical process <coughs> through, through, through acquirement of the social power and the state and the status power. When I say st status power, I mean professional and educational degrees and skills. And this, and this social, so, and this social power and this sta status power are certainly clo closely connected. In Yugoslav society, where private ownership of the means of production was abolished and self-management established, the political economic elite was, was, de was, 
deriving its social power from planning and directing social economic development, and, with it in, and, and, and uh, that enable it to concentrate political and economic power, also to form ideology as a governing view of history. The political and economic elite had a powerful, powerful and privileged social position. It, enjo it, in, it, it enjoyed rights and privileges that other strata did not. Practice, <coughs> practice, of, practice of exclusion in selecting party cadres, it had practice of exclusion in selecting party, party cadres, but it, it, was not, it, it, was not a social, it was not a social group. There were, there, were, there were boundaries that the political economic elite cannot cross without, without bringing legitimacy of social system into the question. As you see from this certificate, certification structure of society in 1981, uh, political elite, political elite uh, made around uh, around 1.2% uh, of, uh, of the population and uh, basically that are part and state and party and uh, state officials, higher economic and uh, higher eco economic social management. Uh, different uh, middle strata uh, 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 they, they, they had a proportion of 25% in this certification structure and it's uh, very, uh, very, very I, I include a very broad, in, uh, very broad measure uh, and included in middle strata higher educated professions, middle management, middle management, low administrative officials, middle educated professions, free professions, small private commodity producers, wealthier peasants. That is higher and lower levels of uh, middle strata. And the uh, working, working strata made up uh, around 45% 40, 45 of uh, Yugoslav society. While peasantry made of something uh, less of 20, 25%. This is a certification structure of uh, Yugoslav society, but these numbers are probably uh, different for, for, for different countries. Uh, in Slovenia and Croatia, they, have, they probably uh, larger segment of middle, middle strata, while the, uh, while the eastern Eastern regions uh, had, uh, uh, had a more developed, uh, more developed, and uh, more higher percentage of uh, working, uh, working strata. But uh, uh, we can use we can we can use it, uh, we can use this uh, uh, these numbers to uh, draw some uh, to draw some uh, conclusions about uh, class composition and how affect, how it affected the uh, the the dissolution of. Uh, Yugoslavia. Uh, entrance to the elite of, uh, uh, of Yugoslavia uh, cannot be secured through acquiring material wealth, but only through ideological loyalty to movement and organization, which is, which is, which is proved through political activity and expert capabilities in workplace. Since the higher instance instances always give approval who will enter the party, it encourages party opportunism and career, career, careerism. But political economic, uh, little, politi political economic elite did, did, acknowledge, did acknowledge the professional expertise and recruited middle strata, middle strata members as, as their social base. So from the 45, the the social base of uh, political economic, uh, economic elite changed uh, very significantly uh, for the process of industri for the process of industrialization. It was no longer including the members of a uh, working class, and it was more it was more uh, more uh, inclusive to the members of a uh, middle status, middle strata. So social so social social and social power and so social power. And the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the status power become inseparably, inseparably intertwined. In, intertwined. We, can say, we can say that the two uh, main characteristics of a political economic elite is a, 
this uh, social openness and political political closure. But although although there is a polarization between political economic elite and other strata in political in political economic power, the, distribu the distribution of a material wealth is more gradual. It means that the elite did acquire a strong political political and political economic uh, power, but it but uh, it, did, it, did not, it did not separate from the other stratas in the in the in the uh, in the instances of uh, uh, of uh, of income and uh, uh, and the so, uh, social so, social 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 uh, social status so so much as it, as it did in the as it, as it did along the this, along this concentration of a political economic power. Elite was without elite was for the uh, for the historic for the historical process and the uh, and the uh, and the uh, power of a uh, law of value which divided the which divided the Yugoslav market in the republic uh, areas. The elite was also divided along national lines. Yeah, along, along national lines. It means that the power that the powerful managerial groups that arose for the for the uh, for the closure of economic economic uh, economic areas also reflected its connection with the with the its national its, with its national with, with, with its national elite. To to say to say some words about the uh, middle strata. It's very it, it's a it's very heter heterogeneous. Uh, it, uh, it is, is consists of very heterogeneous social groups, and basically, it is defined uh, through uh, mentioning the distinction of a middle strata between neighboring neighboring strata. Uh, middle strata in Yugoslavia in, in Yugoslav society are basically defined for having st st status power that is professional credentials. That separated from working strata, but they also new strata has, uh, has a limited social power. That means they do not participate in the decision making. Decision making is limited to the is concentrated in the hands of a political economic elite. <clears throat> Nonetheless, uh, uh, nonetheless. Materials rewards, especially for higher middle middle strata, are not smaller in contrast to the to the uh, to the elite. Uh, simply said, they, they don't they don't have a power to make decisions, but they are not they are not uh, distinguished from the elite in the in the sense of uh, material uh, in the sense of material rewards, uh, especially in higher middle strata. Working working strata. Uh, uh, could could be defined through, uh, through not acquiring uh, professional credentials, and they, and they even and they even have a less uh, less social power. In the Yugoslav society, we can we can generally identify the working uh, working strata, although these lines are certainly not clear with uh, with manual workers. So, work, uh, the difference between working strata and uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, middle, the middle strata and political economic elite goes for the for, goes for the separation of uh, uh, it, could, it could be said goes for separation of uh, hands and mind uh, hands and minds. And as, as I said, it, it's not a it is not a clear boundary, but um, basically uh, basically in a in, in an industrial society it, it, it is it is a, it is a, in a main part true, but. Yugoslav society did have a, did have a significant stratification fluidity of this of this strata. In this industri industrialization process enabled the peasants to become workers. Workers uh, became middle strata, and with <coughs> and with the with the development and with the, the, the development and the, the differenti differentiation of managerial and control function. 
that assumed that middle strata uh, that middle middle strata assumed for the from the uh, from the uh, from the 45 from the industrial process of uh, 45 and on and on uh, it uh, it uh, introduced a mass of educated experts and officials basically the industrial industrialization industrialization also also uh, also encouraged the opening of a new of a new uh, workplace and a new positions and uh, higher differentiation of social of, uh, social functions uh, of the of the Yugoslav uh, of Yugoslav economic development. <coughs> uh, continuous this uh, continuous economic growth until the 80s didn't leave much space for development for the development of social confronta uh, confrontations. But when these confrontations did arise before 80s, the federal government did have enough power and it used it and used it to repress to, uh, to repress the escalation of uh, of, a so of a social so social conflict. Uh, conflict. Uh, although uh, although uh, these social strata are confr con uh, con uh, con uh, confronted, uh, as I said, we, can, we cannot really say that they represent a different different classes. Maybe we can say they have a class instinct in Polanski's terms, but they are certainly not. Any, uh, but there, there is certainly not any class or organi any class organiz any class organization, uh, uh, any, cla um, any class any con uh, class class consciousness. Not, uh, not at least until the 80s, it, that this class consciousness is very limited, and there isn't uh, ideolog ideological class perspective on the on the on its position. <clears throat> we can say they are they basically represent a class in itself, but certainly not a class in itself, a class for itself. But in the 80s, the process of economic uh, the process of economic growth stops. The, <clears throat> the IMF insists on the, on on debt repayment. In import, it enforces the harsh austerity measures. It uh, it uh, it it uh, enforces uh, the stability. Uh, it, uh, it, it, it enforces the stabilization programs, and in that. Uh, uh, concrete economic circumstances, there is a rise of a class consciousness where huge strikes and organizing a class uh, along the class lines in whole Yugoslav in the in the whole uh, in the whole uh, in the whole Yugoslavia begins. Workers workers call for brotherhood and unity. They they basically they basically are evocating the, ideo the ideological sphere of, uh, of Yugoslav society. That is, that they are, that they are ideologi ideologically those who those who make history, those who who make the uh, who, who make the value of the society. But uh, but <clears throat> although that this is ideological discourse, uh, it certainly does not stand in the on the in the in the uh, in the concrete uh, factories where the other where where uh, where where uh, professional credentials professional credentials are more are more are more, are more esteemed national national elites manage to successful manage to to successfully use this uh, uh, use this uh, class confrontations in the uh, 80s between the between the uh, working working class and the uh, and the federal federal center, uh, and to to engage in breaking uh, federal center, basically national uh, national elites uh, try to and uh, and at the end and and, and manage to successfully call off the working working class discontent to the, to their own to their own interests. They, they certainly wouldn't national national elites. They certainly wouldn't be able to do that without the support and the interest of different social social strata that felt deprived in the hard economic uh, situation. Uh, working working class strata 
in this uh, economic context of uh, har harsh, austeri harsh, uh, harsh austerity measures did manifest solidarity along class lines and class consciousness. And they, ex uh, they, they explicitly show, showed their will against the national, uh, against the national divisions. But, but, but uh, this, this uh, solidarity, this Yugoslav solidarity, was broken until the eight, until the end, until the end of eighties. But we should not forget that the middle middle strata are another question in this uh, in this confrontation between the working class between the working class and the political economic elite. The, 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 working strat, the working strat are highly educated, urban. They are they're, they're expecting employment adequate to their educational credentials, uh, expecting esteemed social status, social housing, never tighter housing market. They complain when salaries are diminished in comparison with private sector. They complain when they lose their advantage over the industrial workers because, because their living standard is undercut by, infl by inflation and, they ch and their children increasingly join the ranks of, unemplo and, uh, of unemployed as the state, federal state attacks on bureaucracy and, non and unproductive sectors of budget that, that, ba that basically are are the source of living for the middle uh, for the middle strata. So, with, with these austerity measures and and the redu and re and reduced uh, reduced budgets for 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 white collar white collar jobs, it makes uh, it makes the middle 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 strata much more easier to integrate in the national discourse. But austerity. Uh, austerity measures and orthodox stabilization affect most uh, these articulate, uh, articulate, uh, articulate, articulate groups, <clears throat> uh, where, budget, where, where, where budgetary restraints reduce the number of local administrative and professional jobs. The middle strata is quick to use cultural and ethnic criteria, or to say nationalism, for Expressing their grievance, uh, exp for expressing their grievances, <clears throat> but <clears throat> but the, the national nationalists, national national elites, uh, they uh, they offered uh, they offered uh, uh, middle strata the way out. Uh, in Croatia, uh, the in, in Croatia the elite basically uh, offered the prosperous future in European community of nations. It was uh, it was uh, it was uh, it was developed along uh, along the new discourse of, on a nation, on Europe, citizens, human rights. They basically offered. Uh, uh, the European European dream and the escape from the from disintegrating uh, uh, from disintegrating and the economic economic uh, and economic harsh uh, situation in in Yugos Yugoslavia and the subjectivity of middle class uh, basically came to be determined primarily for this discourse on Europe citizens human rights. <coughs> By this uh, discourse, uh, by discourse fields, and it 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 uh, it, uh, it, uh, it, uh, it uh, persists to, uh, to, to, to this day. So, uh, so the discourse on Euro European <laughs> Union was a uh, uh, was a was a very uh, uh, very con very uh, uh, it is a basically a, a method for which. Uh, uh, political, uh, for which the middle strata expresses its its political agreement, uh, political political grievances. But the bloody war uh, 
and this, and this disintegration of Yugoslav, uh, Yugoslav society uh, quickly shattered, shattered, uh, shattered these uh, this dreams. Privatiza privatization, privatization was privatization, uh, uh, privatization uh, enabled the uh, the um, the the. the the fact that enabled that the national elites give the uh, give the uh, factory give the factories to uh, loyal to loyal cadres it was basically the uh, managerial managerial class and to establish and to establish in that way for the process of privatization private ownership of the means of the production so the this uh, this is this is stratific this uh, stratification uh, structure of Yugo Yugos uh, Yugoslavia assumed uh, more more clear lines as the as the private ownership of the means of production was was established. Uh, we, 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 in this moment we had a capital, clear capitalist class and every, and everyone every, and everyone else working class. For the for the for the rise of nationalism, working class was co-opted for the for the uh, for the uh, for the interests and aims of uh, national elites. It, uh, it went to war and was integrated in in, in in a nationalist discourse. There was no no longer there was a solidarity along the class lines that we that we have seen in the eighties. The new the new mode of uh, solidarity arise in this process of uh, disintegration of Yugoslavia. It is, it is the or organic national organic national solidarity, we are, which can be which can uh, which can be defined by the terms we are all the members of the of the same na of, the, of the same nation, and we we expect that the other members of the uh, other members of that nation help us if we enter in the if we enter in a, a dire so in dire social and economic uh, certain circumstances. Uh, working, 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 working class uh, through the, the for, for their divorcement from means of production became atom, atomized and uh, atomized and fragmented. They basically became uh, wage, 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 wage laborers whose unions were co-opted by the new political, political economic, uh, political economic elite and the new, newly formed, uh, newly formed capitalist class, and later by the by the concept concept of a social dialogue. Although. Uh, uh, Although we can we can we can di differentiate in the this new uh, in the in the new context of a of a, of a Yugoslav breakup the uh, the division between the capitalist class and the uh, middle 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 class and the and the working class by the ownership uh, by the ownership of means of production the differentiation between the middle class and the uh, and the and the working class becomes uh, becomes uh, uh, more more diff more difficult more difficult task. Uh, uh, it is it is no it is no it is no longer that the working the working class is a uh, is uh, 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 it, 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 the working class no longer consists of uh, only of a. Uh, Manual. It is, it, it's not a clear uh, division between the manual labor and the non-manual labor that, that was seen in Yugoslavia. So we need a different, uh, a different, different criteria, different criteria to differentiate uh, working, working class and the middle and the middle class in the, in the middle class in the in the post-socialist context and. Uh, uh, we can we can we can find it in the 
in the terms of a social power, more precisely in the of autonomy of the work that working class and the middle class uh, do. Uh, and what 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 uh, what, uh, what happened? What happened from the 90s uh, in in Croatia? Uh, what uh, what happened to the to the, uh, to the socio-economic uh, restructuring and uh, restructuring and uh, and, uh, it, and the defining of uh, uh, of, a, uh, of a new uh, social uh, uh, compositions? We can uh, we can we can we can see from uh, from following uh, from following graphs. Basically the. The, industri in the, the industrial, the, the industrial uh, society, the, the industrial society of uh, of, uh, Yugo, of Yugoslavia in the period of uh, transitions, or to say, in the period of uh, restoration of uh, capitalism, uh, basically changed from uh, from industry-based societies to uh, service service-based uh, societies. In the 1980, in the 1988, uh, this is this, this this are the data for the uh, this are the data for the Croatia. Uh, in the 1998, the gross domestic uh, product structures shows that uh, uh, in share, share uh, if we look the share in GDP, uh, it shows that the uh, industry industry uh, made uh, more than 30 30 percent of uh, uh, of a uh, GDP, the service sectors was uh, uh, was around around uh, was below 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 that uh, number, almost the forty percent. In fact, for industry, the service sector was uh, around 30 percent. Thirty percent. The agricultural agriculture and forestry five percent, and construction is also five percent. But in, in this uh, transition process. Uh, what, what, uh, what, was, uh, what was seen in Croatia, but not only in Croatia, it, uh, it is seen uh, in uh, all uh, all socialist societies, is the deindustrialization of the of the economy and establishment of a service uh, ser service based structures. Uh, in 2010, in Croatia, services made of around 70 percent of GDP, and the industry was. Uh, it uh, was around 15 15 percent. This this uh, <coughs> well, also check the employment structure to add these numbers and see that uh, as the industrial as the industrial as the industrialization <coughs> as the, the process of deindustrialization began to basically change the employment structure in in Croatia from uh, uh, from uh, from uh, from the worker from workers uh, mainly mainly situated in in a in a secondary sector that is uh, in a industry construction and and basically uh, 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 position in the uh, in the tertiary in the tertiary sector that is a sector of uh, of services this this uh, this uh, this uh, socio-economic uh, trans uh, transformation in the in the in the period of uh, in the period of uh, transitions is that which uh, which which makes the uh, the separation of uh, working strata and the uh, and the middle strata more difficult. As I as I said, uh, workers uh, workers are workers are no longer. Uh, <coughs> uh, no longer di di divided by the by the uh, non manual manual non manual manual labor because the uh, ser because the uh, service uh, because the service sector the, the requires also the not only not only the uh, work of, uh, of hands but also also uh, mental 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 work so. Uh, 
yeah, the, the, the vision of uh, middle class and working class in the in the, trans, in the in transition be, becomes a more 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 hard to define. It. As I said, I, I would rather the, the draw the lines between the uh, working class and the middle class for the for the term of uh, of the of autonomy autonomy in the work. <clears throat> that, uh, that means the workers are those who basically have a no, the working class are, are those members who basically have no autonomy in performing uh, their their functions on in their uh, their workplace. They must they must uh, they must be very disciplined and listen to the listen to the orders that uh, orders that come from the uh, that come from the higher instances uh, that come from higher instances and basically don't uh, don't don't have any any autonomy. Uh, any, any, any autonomy to confront that, to con uh, confront that, uh, that demand, Espe especially in the uh, in the context when the trade trade unions are being co-opted or or being destroyed. So uh, this uh, autonomy, uh, this uh, autonomy uh, di uh, divides the uh, working class and the middle class in. Uh, in the sense that the middle class has more autonomy, and the more more the middle class is that class that has a more uh, social, uh, more social political uh, social political autonomy in in, pre in performing in performing their 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 task. Uh, with the but with also to emphasize with the introduction of a, uh, of a clear class divisions between those who control the means of production and those who don't. The classes become uh, become uh, self uh, self reproductive self -repro self reproductive. They, there is no there there isn't more social mobility that was a uh, characteristic for Yugoslav society for peasants to become workers workers uh, to become middle threat and middle threat to enter the uh, middle threat to enter the political economic elite. The in the new uh, capitalist society, uh, uh, class, classes, uh, classes, uh, classes become enclosed in their own self-reproductive self self cir circles. <coughs> but the, uh, but the, the power of uh, neoliberalism does not only lies in their ability to enforce economic explo exploitation, it also Arises its power from pushing through the ideological and, cult and, cult and, cult and cultural colonization of the workers. It, is, it destroys uh, class organization, class consciousness, class, class, ide class, class ideologies. <clears throat> it attacks national popular sovereignty, and I, I would underline this pop popular, popular in this, in this phrase. <clears throat> because, because defending this national, uh, <clears throat> because uh, because defending uh, this national pop popular uh, be, uh, and uh, uh, because defending this national popular sovereignty also goes for the institutions of a, of a, of, a na of a nation of a nation state. <clears throat> so <laughs> to. To sum up uh, this uh, uh, this uh, arguments I have uh, 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 presented in the in the period of uh, uh, transition, we have we have seen the establishing of a clear clear uh, clear class uh, clear class divisions and destructions of uh, previous uh, social previous. Social, uh, social classification, fluidity, characteristics to characteristic to Yugoslav, uh, Yugoslav society. It uh, the, the transition, 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 transition process, transition process uh, destroyed any kind, any kind of uh, uh, any kind of social mobility and imposed the uh, imposed the classes into their own circles of on uh, of uh, reproduction and the nationalism. Nationalism, nationalism 
uh, assume the position of a, of a, of a uh, class solidarity that arise in the in the 80s. But this uh, arise of a national uh, organic uh, organic national uh, solidarity becomes uh, becomes uh, become, becomes inadequate to fight the to fight the current conditions of uh, uh, of, a, of a working class, but it is, it is, uh, but it is uh, strongly established in the Croatia and the other other post-socialist uh, post-socialist uh, countries, because uh, uh, because not not only because of uh, uh, not only because of the uh, wars that uh, that uh, that. Um, that, uh, that swept through for, for these uh, areas, but uh, but also uh, because uh, neo because uh, neo neoliberal uh, neoliberalism put into the question all those nas national uh, all those rights that uh, are der derived from the state uh, from the from the from the from the from the, from the, na from the nation state. So when confr when confronting. Uh, and confronting harsh economic conditions, the left must be must be aware that uh, this uh, national organic national solidarity will not will not disappear. That we will not we will not see some clear class subject uh, uh, in the political uh, in the political in the political scene. Basically, uh, I could uh, I could say that. Um, <clears throat> uh, Make, make, make men make their own history, but then they don't make it uh, under their own circumstances. The, we must face the fact that the situation uh, in the in the in the Croatia, but I would also say for other Yugoslav uh, countries, is that the class class struggle and the uh, uh, class struggle and the social social questions will not be it will not be able uh, to. To divorce them from the questions of uh, nationalism. Thank you. Thank you, Domago, for this very good and extensive analysis. Uh, next talk will be delivered by Kovic. Um, the talk is titled The Interrelation Between the Bosnian Type of Transition to Capitalism and the Political Potency of the Working Class. Um, just to introduce Goran. Gun Martic is assistant professor in the Faculty of Law of East Sarajevo, uh, today's Republic of Srpska entity, uh, uh, where he teaches constitutional law and theory of law and state. Uh, he has dealt with the questions um, uh, of um, participatory democracy uh, and uh, uh, fields of interest in research include also constitutional system of Bosnia and Herzegovina, political parties, uh, and self management. He's a member of the International Institute for Self-Management and a co-editor of uh, Novi Plamen, a Zagreb-based magazine for social, political, and cultural issues. So, yeah. <laughs>
and it did not start with the process of privatization, as many people think. In fact, the process of capitalist restoration in Bosnia and Herzegovina started with the process of nationalization of socially owned enterprises and the state authorities in uh, both in the Republic of Srpska and Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina enacted legislation uh, in order to nationalize uh, previously socially owned enterprises. Uh, just to, to tell you uh, two words about the political and uh, administrative uh, composition structure of Bosnia similar uh, characteristics because uh, it was the orientation of political elites on the so-called uh, mass privatization. And uh, for example, in the Republic of Srpska, according to law, at least 55% of the previously state-owned capital had to be uh, privatized uh, using the method of vouchers. Uh, the process of privatization is not still over in Bosnia and Herzegovina and it is estimated that between 60 and 70 percent of state capital has been privatized and uh, the state uh, remains uh, important uh, owner even uh, after the process of privatization uh, is almost been completed because at the moment uh, the state uh, still owns between 15 and 30 percent of capital in privately owned enterprises. Uh, of course, the process of privatization mostly is, uh, has been illegal and according to trade unions, uh, around 80% of privatizations have been illegal. This is very important uh, fact because the idea of uh, the revision of privatization is very popular in Bosnia and Herzegovina these years, especially these months uh, after the protests in the uh, Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina started in February, uh, because uh, many political parties, NGOs and trade unions think that the revision of privatization is necessary. And even some uh, political parties, although when in opposition, uh, pushed for the revision of privatization. It was especially the case with two parties, Social Democratic Party and the Serb Democratic Party. Uh, of course, these parties now are in government, uh, the Social Democratic Party now is in government, and uh, while in government, it did not try really to revise the privatization. Now, keeping in mind that uh, almost 80% uh, of privatizations have been illegal, I think that it would be, it would be uh, easier to talk about or to achieve uh, nationalization or socialization of, of pr private ownership than to revise the, 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 the privatization. Uh, this process of, uh, of capitalist restoration and uh, the process of privatization led to new class composition of society. And of course the new ruling class has been formed. Uh, it has a mixed uh, structure, mixed composition, and it is composed of three components, uh, generally speaking. Uh, members of, although not members, but some members of political elites then former technocrats, former managers of uh, state-owned enterprises, and of war criminals. Of course, it is not possible to say uh, to what percent uh, each of these components uh, participate in the structure of the ruling class, especially because uh, some members of the ruling class are at the same time uh, members of the political elite and war criminals, or uh, technocrats and uh, members of the political elite, etc. Uh, however, what happened in Bosnia and Herzegovina is that uh, only uh, around 9% of capital, of, of state capital, has been sold uh, for cash. So, uh, you can understand uh, what are the consequences of this. Uh, the structure of the economy and the structure of the working class has changed considerably 
also. Uh, for example, uh, at the moment there are between 26 and 29,000 of enterprises in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and 97% of them are small and medium sized <coughs> enterprises. Uh, it was very different from the situation before the war because Bosnia and Herzegovina had a developed uh, industry and had, very, and, and had many large enterprises. Uh, uh, at the moment, at the moment, uh, around 50% of work, work of workforce is employed in small and medium-sized enterprises. Around 38% uh, of workforce is employed in uh, large-scale, uh, large-scale enterprises. But uh, this number uh, does not reflect the reality because uh, when we say 38% of workforce in large enterprises, we, we think on workers who are formally employed, but uh, many uh, large enterprises are on the edge of bankruptcy, so practically workers uh, really do not work, uh, many of them do not receive salaries not just for months, but for years, but formal, formally they are employed in these enterprises. Uh, small and medium-sized enterprises uh, produce around 60% of GDP, so practically they became the basis of the, of the economy and uh, this is also the idea of the political elites that, uh, who says that uh, small and medium-sized enterprises uh, have to be accelerator of the economy. Uh, before the war, in uh, 1981, for example, uh, in, uh, third, uh, 58 percent of workers were employed in industry only. At the moment, uh, formally, 42 percent of workers uh, is employed in industry. Although I said this is not uh, uh, the number uh, which uh, is in accordance with the real situation. Then we have uh, around 23 uh, percent of workers who are employed in the sector of services and 17% 17, 17 in public administration, etc. Uh, also, it is very important to stress that uh, we have a very high rate of unemployment, 28%. Although we have two figures here. We have the figure of 28% and the figure of 44%. Uh, because 28% uh, is the real rate of unemployment and 44% is the uh, official rate of unemployment because there are many workers who work in informal <coughs> sector and who are, who, uh, who are formal, formally unemployed but who really have uh, a work, uh, workplace. So uh, this is the problem because uh, unemployed workers uh, do not have any kind of organization. There is no kind of uh, union of unemployed workers or, ed or any other association which would be uh, connected, for example, uh, to trade unions. So for workers who work in industry or uh, services, it is very hard, for example, to strike because they are frightened because we have so huge reserve, arm, uh, reserve army of, uh, of workers. Uh, among the employees, 73% uh, are uh, so-called paid employees and 25% are uh, self-employed. Uh, however, uh, it is not so easy to estimate how many workers there are among these employees because we have uh, uh, this phenomenon of so-called semi-workers, semi-peasants. Uh, even before the war we had uh, plenty of uh, such workers, so people who work in industry or other socially owned enterprises, but also uh, possessed some private assets and who could, who could really uh, have a good living standard even if they would not be employed. At the moment we still have these semi-workers, semi-peasants, especially because uh, people who have some uh, private property in villages uh, have really small assets and they can't live out of uh, agriculture. Uh, so uh, this situation, as you can see, uh, lead us to the conclusion that there is no great concentration of workers in large enterprises and uh, trade unions and other workers, activists, see this as a great problem. Uh, this influence is strike actions very much. Uh, for example, the biggest strikes are not in the sector of industry, maybe only sporadically, but uh, the main the biggest, the most influence, uh, influential strike and protest actions 
are in the sector of uh, uh, public services. Uh, for example, in November 2000, 2012, we had big progress of public sector workers in the Republic of Srpska. Around 10,000 workers participated, and really it was something marvelous. I was there too in Banja Luka. It was the first time that uh, such a big number of workers uh, participated in uh, protest action. It lasted only for one day, of course. And uh, here, the workers from large enterprises or from industry did not participate at all. They did not participate at all. Also, in January uh, 2013, we had the public sector workers' strike in the public of Srpska. Uh, it lasted only for three days, but it was partially uh, successful. And uh, also, workers from other sectors of the economy did not participate. Uh, even solidarity strikes were not organized. And uh, it is quite clear why, because solidarity strikes are not legally allowed in, uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, so the trade unions or the workers themselves even don't try to organize, to organize them. Uh, political elites uh, have their interest in uh, doing negotiations with the public sector unions and public sector workers, uh, because in this way they are trying to buy social peace, uh, because public sector workers are potentially very strong and numerous, uh, not just as a working class organization, but they are numerous also as potential voting machinery. Uh, for example, in the Republic of Srpska, in uh, trade union, uh, where I am also a member, that is trade union of uh, workers in the sector of education, culture and science, there are 19,000 members, and uh, in these sectors uh, 22,000 workers are employed, so this means that almost all workers, workers are unionized and the situation of course is much worse in other sectors, especially uh, in the uh, private sector and especially in small and medium-sized enterprises. Uh, above, me above mentioned structure of economy and uh, workforce raises the issue of uh, workers' solidarity, uh, which is not so strong in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, and it, I think it is not developed for many reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, there are huge differences in uh, living standards among uh, uh, different sections of working uh, class. Uh, for example, the average salary in Bosnia and Herzegovina is uh, little less than uh, 450 euros, but uh, it is 50% higher, higher than this uh, average in the banking and insurance sectors and also workers in the public sector uh, also have uh, higher salaries than the average. So practically when these workers organize some uh, strike actions in the public sector we had uh, three or four strike actions during the uh, last uh, two or three years. Uh, workers from other sectors uh, sometimes were dissatisfied with this and if we are uh, if we found and we don't have much uh, worse uh, working conditions and living standard, why is then the case that workers from the public sector uh, go to the strikes? Uh, workers in small and medium-sized enterprises are only sporadically unionized, uh, especially I said in the private sector, and the trade unions even don't try to unionize them. Uh, I think that uh, two main reasons uh, are that, first of all, union bureaucracy is not interested in unionizing these workers. Uh, because of the role union bureaucracy plays in the society. And the second reason is that uh, trade unions even don't have an idea of how to unionize uh, this, uh, this category of workers because uh, uh, labor legislation and especially strike legislation is a very uh, strict, so it is not easy to organize trade unions in, uh, in these enterprises. Uh, in my opinion, uh, in most cases, in most small and medium-sized enterprises will not be uh, possible to organize uh, union uh, organizations at all. So uh, I think that uh, central leadership of trade unions and uh, leadership of union branches will have to also advocate in the interests of, of these workers through uh, negotiations and uh, through uh, collective uh, agreements. I don't think that uh, union organizations, rank and file union organizations, <coughs> have some uh, wider uh, results in this sense. Uh, secondly, uh, central union leaderships are quite weak. 
uh, when it comes to organizing activities affecting working class as a whole, uh, because most activities are still at the branch level. And uh, this does not contribute to the, to the development of the solidarity among the different sectors of, uh, of the working class. Uh, the problem also is that uh, unions often insist only on immediate demands regarding wages and working conditions, and uh, these demands are not enough to improve working class position and uh, its class consciousness, uh, because they do not uh, show the real reasons of the working class economic and social position at the present uh, society. Uh, at the same time, unions do not force the political elite to openly define its position uh, on the different issues of economic and social nature, like uh, uh, such, such, such as, for example, uh, tax, uh, tax system or uh, labor legislation, etc. Uh, in my opinion, there are several immediate steps that should be taken by the trade unions. I think it is not the case only in Bosnia and Herzegovina, but also in some other former Yugoslav uh, republics. Uh, first of all, I think that trade unions have to develop a program of concrete measures for the improvement of economic and social situation of working class. Of course, these measures uh, have to be reformist in nature and uh, similar to measures taken uh, in the Western states decades ago, such as progressive taxation, uh, workers' participation in management, more liberal, uh, liberal labor legislation, etc. For example, uh, a year ago when we participated in, the, in uh, negotiations with the uh, representatives of the government, the government of Republic of Srpska, uh, the government wanted to cut off uh, wages of public sector workers for 10%. Of course, uh, trade unions disagreed. But uh, the ministers of education and finance said that they don't have enough money in the budget because they need 26 million of convertible marks uh, for, for our uh, salaries. So they told us, okay, you, if you, if you uh, manage to find these 20, 26 million, we are not going to cut off your salaries. Uh, I think that although uh, uh, I think that uh, their message uh, really was serious for us in trade unions. Why? Because I really think that the task of the trade unions is not just to demand. We, just, we can't just say uh, we don't want our salaries to be cut off. We really have to develop economic and social policies. Unfortunately, trade unions in, in Bosnia and Herzegovina have never developed such policies. Uh, we have tried something uh, because we drafted uh, program of 2025 measures of economic and uh, social uh, character, but the uh, union bureaucracy did not receive uh, very well. Uh, and at the, at the end, I want to say a few words about the solidarity of working class uh, level of Bosnia and Herzegovina, because uh, working class movement in Bosnia and Herzegovina is very much divided along the ethnic and entity lines because we have separate trade union organizations in the Republic of Srpska and Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. There is a very loose confederation of trade unions on the level of Bosnia and Herzegovina, but it does almost nothing. And uh, I must say that also political and administrative structure of Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, is one of the reasons why the, why the situation is such, because uh, central state authorities of Bosnia and Herzegovina have almost no uh, jurisdiction in the, uh, in, the, in the sphere of economic and uh, social issues. Uh, on the other hand, uh, nationalist ideology is still very strong, and uh, in previous years we had a situation that when trade unions from, uh, from uh, different entities tried to establish communication, political elites said that it would be a betrayal of, 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 of national or of entity interest. Uh, however, uh, these protests which took place uh, a few months ago in the duration of Bosnia and Herzegovina shows that uh, people and workers among them uh, are really much more interested, uh, especially in economic and social issues, because these were uh, economic and social protests uh, without uh, political slogans and without political uh, aim in a narrow sense. Uh, of, uh, of that word. 
So the situation is very slowly uh, changing, and we are going to see uh, what will be uh, what, what will happen in near future because now we have some initi initiatives for creation of new independent trade unions, etc. Now we have approximately 20 minutes for questions, comments, uh, yes, suggestions, etc. Hi, I'm very puzzled about some of the things Goran Markovic said. Uh, first, I didn't understand. Were you when you were uh, were you making a big distinction between the data for Republika Srpska and uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina? That's one question. Other question is uh, when you uh, said that the protests in Bosnia are mostly uh, coming from the public sector. This is something that I hear for the first time. And uh, um, does that mean only in Republika Srpska? And third question is about the. Uh, the last protest uh, in, uh, in a couple of months ago, you said that uh, there were no protests in uh, Republika Srpska. There were only protests in the uh, Federation, but I heard there were some underground plans in, uh, in Republika Srpska also. Plans, plans, like assemblies. And uh, uh, another, que another question is concerning the, you said that uh, protests in Bosnia and Herzegovina are divided ethnically and uh, religiously. I also think that's like a simplification and maybe even uh, not correct uh, information because there was, I think in 2011, there was this protest for pensions by Croatian, uh, uh, Bosnian and Serbian armies and uh, a year ago there was this um, uh, <coughs> protest that also united people. And also a couple of months ago in Mostar you also had people uniting. So I think if you're trying to uh, simplify the situation in Bosnia and protest only by the perspective of trade unions, you're making a big mistake and, uh, and uh, I think this is even historically really uh, false. There were no workers in the public sector on the streets, and the main reason for this was uh, if there were to be a reorganization of, of Dayton or uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, then many, many people employed in the public sector would lose their jobs. So this was a big problem for them, so they did not solidarize with, uh, with, uh, uh, with the people on the streets. And while it is true that uh, on the streets of Sarajevo, for example, there are mostly people who are unemployed and pensioners and, and so on, I don't think this, just, this can be just simply ignored because they're not uh, employed workers. So I think this is like a really problematic thing you said. Uh, I think that we have to distinguish, distinguish between the strikes and the protests. I think these are two different things I was talking about. Uh, first, when we talk about the strikes, uh, I was saying that uh, the biggest and the most influential strikes have been strikes of public sector workers. I do, not, I do not say that there were no strikes in other sectors of the economy, just those were smaller, stri smaller strikes. For example, you had, you had protests, so no strikes, protests of workers of chemical industry in Tuzla uh, immediately before uh, uh, Yes. Before, before.
before, before the beginning of these protests, and these protests uh, lasted for some time. So uh, it is not the case that only uh, public workers, uh, public sector workers strike, but these strikes are the biggest, and really we have never had the, the strike, the big strike or, or, or so big protests of workers in any other sector than the public sector. For example, we have never had 10,000 people uh, from the sectors of industry or services on the streets, and that is the fact. But I think it is politically wrong to distinguish in this manner uh, uh, from strikes and protests. But these are, uh, these are two different things. For example, yeah, but I think it's politically wrong to distinguish them in this manner. For example, these protests, uh, which started in February and which lasted in February and March, uh, they were, uh, they were uh, protests, uh, just to answer your question, these were uh, protests uh, only in Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. So there were no underground yeah, yeah, let's give... Uh, so. okay. Would you like to finish your yes, answer yes, 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 yes. and then uh, other question? I have, uh, I have never heard about underground underground plenums. I live in Vilna. Vilna is in the Republic of Serbska. I have never heard about uh, such plenums. Maybe there are, <coughs> there are somewhere underground plenums, but I don't know anything about them. Uh, we had protests, very small protests in Vilna. I was there. There was maybe 20 people. We have we have small uh, protests in Banja and Vilna. Uh, nowhere else uh, in the public observe that. Unfortunately, I'm not happy uh, to say this, but that, uh, that, uh, that was the reality. And of course, when we talk about the protests in Federation in February and March, uh, yes, some workers participated in these protests, especially workers of the chemical industry in uh, Tuzla, uh, while workers' organizations <coughs> did not participate as, as such. And I think that uh, in my opinion, most of the people who participated in protests were or uh, unemployed, or students, or uh, pensioners, or people who are self-employed. I don't think that many workers participated. I also, uh, I also uh, participated in some plenums in, in, in Sarajevo and Mostar, and I think that not many workers participated. Uh, Comrade Demings here, maybe he has some other information. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks. To both of you, um, maybe just a little clarification, and I have to agree with with Andrea here. Um, first of all, first of all, you said there were no no solidarity protests to the to the public sector sector strikes. I mean, par partially yes, because they are illegal, but mostly people didn't know about it. For example, if if you if you would have been in Tuzla some two years ago and you asked someone on the street, do you know what is going on with Dita? They would say, "Isn't Dita working? Isn't it producing?" People simply didn't know, and not 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 more not people who, who are not working in, in, in the industry, but all, but also industry workers. If you would ask someone from Konyu, for example, what is going on in Dita, they wouldn't know, and, and vice versa. So people sim simply didn't know. And uh, yeah, c coming coming back to to the Republika Srpska protests and the, and the underground plenums. I mean, I am talking to people there. I, these are my friends and, and fellow activists as well, and there are underground plenums. As well, but the level of state repression you are ex experiencing in, in the Republika Srpska si simply doesn't give you, give you that much space to do to do to do something. Whereas in the Federation, okay, it's much easier because it, it is highly decentralized and uh, and divided into into these uh, into these cantons. So so you know where where directly you, you can point your, your you can point your grief to. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's basically what I wanted to say. Thanks. I have a very short question for our opponent from Croatia. I was, uh, I was trying to follow, but I still couldn't understand. Why don't you talk about classes uh, during Yugoslavia uh, and identify classes only after 1980s or something? I, I, really, I mean, what's, what's the reason for making this uh, distinction or how, how do you define uh, this uh, period before 19? Why, what, what is the uh, reason, theoretical or otherwise, that you made a distinction between, uh, I don't know, some sort of status uh, before 1980s, and then you talk about class of after in Yugoslavia? And I didn't understand why. Well, that was, uh, okay. Uh, to clear, uh, to clear this, uh, this 
the Jewish community. But I, I can. I think that uh, it, it wasn't. Uh, I, uh, it probably was a little bit uh, confusing, but uh, I used the social certification of uh, Yugos Yugoslavia uh, yeah, to point out the the confrontations between the different uh, classes and the rise of uh, nationalism. And uh, and on the uh, on the other hand, to point out that the socio-economic uh, structure, the socio-economic uh, transform, uh, socio-economic structural transformation, changed the uh, composition of this uh, Yugoslav society in the post-socialist context regarding regarding uh, concretely uh, Croatia, because. Uh, uh, the class composition of uh, post-socialist uh, societies isn't uh, the same as the class composition of uh, Yugoslav uh, society. Uh, for example, uh, I was uh, I was showing that uh, uh, that the uh, working working class uh, shifted from the industrial industrial service to the service uh, to the to the service sector in all, uh, and. Uh, with that, uh, with that, with that shift and the, with that transformation, it also uh, the working class assumed a different uh, social uh, functions uh, than uh, that it uh, than that it, that it is uh, characteristic for uh, industrial industrial structure of uh, of a society. With the rise of uh, uh, of a service sector, you have a uh, comp uh, you have. Completely different. Uh, the, com uh, you have the development of a completely different uh, workplace uh, uh, functions. Uh, the the uh, the, em uh, the 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 emphasis being on the whole uh, this uh, uh, marketing sphere, man man managerial sphere, uh, different uh, uh, different uh, different different uh, social different uh, different uh, development of uh, of. Uh, Workplace uh, of uh, workplace functions in the sectors that, that are being uh, increasingly developed in the in the tourism in the in the trade and that, that is, uh, that is, uh, that, and these uh, functions are these functions uh, for working class are uh, quite different than that 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 than that in uh, Yugoslav societies also and I didn't have the time to to develop this uh, uh, more. Um, further, it also it, it also goes for the uh, for the middle class uh, with the trans with the trans with the trans with the socioeconomic uh, uh, transformation. The uh, the the middle the middle class uh, becomes uh, more uh, more tied to the to the state sector, and we all and we also see the development of. Uh, Traditional uh, petit bourgeois commodity producers in the new uh, neoliberal period. Then that was in uh, Yugoslavia. Basically, in Yugoslavia, there there aren't any small and medium enterprises. And uh, in the in the new uh, post-social post post-socialist context, with the destruction of uh, of uh, huge uh, industrial complexes. Uh, uh, more, uh, uh, more from uh, despair than from some kind of entrepreneurial instinct, we see the, the, the development of uh, small and uh, medium enterprises that uh, that are uh, that are basically that are basically assuming a lower middle a lower middle class positions or higher uh, higher middle class uh, higher middle class positions, and in that sense, we see the recom recomposition of the middle class. Also along this um, uh, socio-economic, uh, socio-economic structural uh, tr uh, transformation. Also because the uh, because the industrial uh, industrial social relations are falling apart, uh, they are being destroyed. We see uh, more uh, more more workers being integrated in the. In the state sector, as a lower administrative official, lower administrative officials, or, or or clerks, or something like that. So the uh, class recomposition in the post-socialist post-socialist uh, context is uh, 
is a, a, a quite quite a real process. And the 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 structure of uh, uh, of uh, the certification structure of Yugoslavia, of Yugoslavia it's a uh, it's class it's class uh, 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 class composition uh, that is the that is the uh, uh, social uh, social functions uh, that uh, define uh, uh, that, that define uh, those uh, those strata are in the new post social context uh, are being changed. Sociological approach to the to the question of the of the stratification of the stratification uh, certification of society. Uh, I'm only uh, descriptively trying to uh, to point out to point out these uh, divisions that uh, that exist because uh, uh, because uh, you you can you can you can say. Uh, you can take a class as a as a you can you can really use a analytical approach and to uh, to, to define the, the confrontations between the between the classes in the in the Yugoslav uh, in the Yugoslav context because uh, because uh, because uh, because uh, they, they, they simply, uh, simply uh, don't exist, uh, un at least until the until the 80s, uh, in a in a uh, in a class uh, in a class organized uh, in class organized way. Uh, the class consciousness is limited. Uh, no, there, there isn't a there isn't a class uh, class uh, there isn't a class ideology. And more importantly, there is a very very high degree of uh, social mobility so uh, it, uh, it basically define, it basically uh, makes this 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 structure very fluid and so I, I, I think it's, uh, it, it is a uh, it's better to use this descriptive approach uh, to uh, certification of uh, of a US of a US of society then for the uh, then for the post-socialist con post context, where, where we can, uh, where we can easier, where we can, where we can easy, where, where, where is it easy to uh, mark this analytical approach of a uh, of a class, where the when because when you establish a clear, uh, clear, uh, clear lines of uh, of, uh, of a class structure with the introduction of uh, private ownership of the means of the. Production we have a very very clearly defined uh, capitalist class that that can be that uh, can be that can't be defined in, the, in Yugoslavia and uh, you have the clearly defined uh, other classes. So am, am I making this uh, more more sense? 